Daily Devotion with Pastor Bala for June 15th, 2022 from Ezekiel chapter 1. Ezekiel. The Daily Devotions is going to be returning to the Old Testament and I'm going to be using the prophet priest named Ezekiel. Ezekiel served during a very difficult time. The northern tribes of Israel were overthrown and soon the southern tribes of Judah would be also. But in the midst of these great difficulties, notice what God does. God raises up a prophet to teach the people about their rebellion against God and to remind the people to return to the Lord. So from Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 1. In the 13th year, in the fourth month, on the fifth day of the month, as I was among the exiles in, by the Charbar Canal, the heavens were open, and I saw visions of God. Ezekiel notes that he was among the exiles. Many people would ask, well, why would God allow the prophet to suffer because of other people's rebellions? Well, we need to remember with prophets and along with pastors, we're all sinners. And more importantly, that God is still providing care, even in the midst of the exile. So God opens Ezekiel's eyes for this vision so that he can share this vision with the people of Israel. Verse two, on the fifth day of the month, it was the fifth year of the exile of King Jehoiachin, the word of the Lord came to Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzi, in the land of the Chaldeans by the Chabar Canal, and the hand of the Lord was upon him there. The timing and location is very precise. What happens next is not necessarily very precise. Welcome to the vision. Verse four, as I looked, behold, a stormy wind came out of the north and a great cloud with brightness around it and fire flashing forth continually and in the midst of the fire, as it were, gleaming metal. Remember, this is a vision. The use of symbols and pictures are taking place, not exact words. Verse four is a theophany. And what do we mean by a theophany? It is an encounter with God through this vision. So God reveals himself in this vision as a stormy wind, a great cloud, and with brightness of fire. You may remember that God led the people of Israel out of Egypt by a pillar of fire by night and a pillar of cloud by day. So this vision begins with some familiar images that God had used in the past and as God reveals himself to Ezekiel and to us. Verse five, and from the midst of it came the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. They had a human likeness, but each had four faces and each of them had four wings. We don't understand all the details that are given, but I love the transition from God being seen as a cloud and fire to one taking on a human form, even though it's not exactly human. For this is exactly what happens with Jesus. Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, does take on human flesh and blood. And this is important to remember. The people are in exile. They are afraid. They may be thinking that God abandoned them. Actually, the people really abandoned God. So this vision begins with the theophany, that God coming to Ezekiel, the same way that God delivered the people of Israel from out of slavery in Egypt, and now that changes to a human form to remind us that humanity is indeed important to God. As far as the four faces, yes, that's a little strange. However, the four faces can look four different directions at the same time. Keep in mind, God is an all-knowing God. And this is how God chooses to reveal himself to this. All of this is designed to bring us comfort. Comforts 
so that we don't sit there and think that we have some impersonal God that doesn't care about humanity. Instead, we have a God who cares about humanity, a God who will take on our own flesh in order to redeem us and rescue us from sin, death, and the devil. So these opening words, they are spectacular, but they also bring us comfort, God's peace, and many blessings be with you. And thank you for listening. And please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. Thank you again for listening.